Hi everyone, this is Ramesh from Tripmatica and today I'm going to talk about how to read an Excel file using SQLink driver in Power Center. So uh, the agenda for this video is to demonstrate how to read an Excel file in Power Center using SQLink driver. So the prerequisite uh, required for the to complete this demo are uh, number one, an environment with Power Center running number two sqlink server installed on windows and number three is sqlink client installed on power center server so considering that uh, we have this uh, prerequisite ready let's talk about what are the essential steps to complete this configuration so to complete the configuration essentially there are like three steps number one uh, define a dsn using 32-bit odbc administrator Step number two is to add the DSN and data source SOC ODBC con STR attribute in SQL link using SQL link console. And number three is to you add that DSN in ODBC.ini file on Informatica server. So step number one and two are meant to be performed on the machine where SQL link server is running. And number three is for the machine where you have Informatica server running. So let's take a quick look at the demo and see each of these uh, steps in detail. So uh, as we had discussed, the step number one is to define a DSN using 32-bit ODBC administrator. So for that, what you do is you go to C drive, then Windows, SysO64. Under this, look for a file. Sorry look for a file called odbc ad32.exe double click this executable select the system dsn click on add look for a driver microsoft driver for excel select that say finish now give it a name for your data source name for example I'm giving here demo put a description for demo only and then select the workbook so this is the so since I'm using this DSN to read an Excel file select the location of your Excel file so I'm just uh, going to the location where I have Excel file that I want to read. So now select this Excel file and say OK. Say OK. So with this, you see here the um, DSN has been created. So we are done with the step number one. OK. Now step number two was to add this DSN into your uh, SQL link using SQL link console. So let's see how do we do that. So open uh, SQL link management console. Click on open. It's not connected. Double click here. It will prompt you for a username password. So put the password. This is the Windows password. Now it got connected. So, uh, open it. So there are two options: SQLing services, SQLing uh, or service template. Click on SQLing services. So here, SLA agent 60 and SLA and SL socket 60. Enlarge it. Open it. Then you get an option called configuration. Open it. And there you see like three options: service setting, data source setting, and profile. Click on data source setting. So this is where we will have to add that DSN that we just created from step number one. So here you already see that I have a default DSN, right? Uh, default DSN that I had created before. And there is another one that I'll be using it for the demo purpose is the text Excel is another DSN that I created earlier. 
and I'll be using it to run uh, mapping and show you how does it process the record. So let me show you if you want to re uh, add another DSN to it, how do you do that? So select data source setting, right click, say new, select the data source and enter a name called demo. Okay. So uh, open it, click on adva advanced option. So here you see there's an attribute called data source soc odbc con str double click here so here you have to define what is the dsn for this data source right so the just now you see is the default so anytime you create a new D dsn here it will just inherit it whatever is in the default but you can always override it so here let me put the dsn name as demo say okay so with this uh, you are all set with all the configuration that was necessary to be completed for step number one and step number two. Step number three is to add this DSN in your odbc.ini on your Informatica server. So let's take a quick look there. So this is my Informatica server here, uh, it's a Linux server and where Informatica processes are running. So um, Apart from adding uh, entry in odbc.ini file, remember we begin the beginning we talked about uh, during uh, the prerequisite sections like we need to make sure that we have SQL link client installed on your power center server. So let me show you the location where I have uh, SQL link client installed here. So this is the location uh, for SQL link client and the libraries are under lib64 so this is the library that we will be using it uh, as the driver as a drive this is the driver that we will be using it so um, before we uh, before we look in take a look into what the, how do we make entry what, what are the essential parameter we define it odbc.inf file let's talk about the environment so make sure that this directory or this the location for these libraries are added in your ld library path which i have already set so let me show you here ld library path so if you take a look this is added in the la ld library variable right now there is another variable that environment variable that we need to set is cq link odbc home this should be pointing to the driver location. So this is uh, SQL link, then the home directory, and then the lib64. This should be pointed to the so this variable. You need to set in your environment variable. Once uh, <coughs> after that, let's go to ODBC home and make an entry in ODBC.ini file. Right. So let me open it. So here. Uh, I already have uh, made an entry, but let's talk about what are these parameters. So, first of all, you give a name to your data source name, and this name can be anything, and this name need not has to match uh, the DSN that we define in a SQL link. So, and this is what we will be using it when you create a ODBC connection in uh, workflow monitor sorry workflow manager uh, so when you create a odbc connection in workflow manager you got to define here the username password and connect string so the connect string that you provide there is the name of this uh, is the name of this data source whatever you define here and this did not have to match with the same dsn what we define in a sql link server okay so it can be anything so for example for this demo purpose i put it as the name as test so the driver is the driver is pointing to the uh, dwslk22.so the driver that uh, comes with SQL link client. Okay. Uh, okay. Next is ho host name. So host name is the machine name where SQL link server is running on, and the port number is the port where it is listening on. Uh, use LDAP. I'm not using LDAP, so I put it as zero. And the last attribute is server data source. This is important. So this is the one that resolves uh, the connect string and make uh, and let it and that makes the uh, that resolves the connect string test to 
resolved into test Excel that is the DSN that you define on SQL link server so that's the value for the server data source should be exactly same as what we define the DSN in SQL link server this if it is not matching it won't work so this has to match uh, however the name of the DSN that you put in here uh, in the beginning as a uh, connect string could be anything but the server data source that you define has to match the same name as what you define on your SQL link DSN okay so um, let me show you here so I have a DSN called test Excel here in SQL link right so we'll be using this DSN to perform and to uh, run the session and see how does it go so let me exit from here so considering that we are done with step number one two three whatever we talked about in the beginning related to the configuration let me go and uh, show you uh, mapping and run a session and see how does it go so this is a very straightforward mapping uh, source has a uh, three column serial number name and age and is trying to writing into a flat file and it's ODBC type of source right so here I go to connection select relational then go to ODBC so ODBC test Excel this is the connection I'll be using it in the session so if you see here username is the same user that you use to log into a SQL link uh, agent uh, through SQL link console and this is the password and the connect string is the string that uh, we defined uh, in the odbc.ini file right let me open the excel and show you the data in that first before we run it so this is the excel file the data in the excel file that I want to process it has like got four records right so let me run the session and see before that I would have to close this otherwise you get an error saying that the file is already opened by a different user so let's run this workflow and see okay so now we see that it succeeded and processed four records right so that's pretty much I wanted to show you over this quick demo uh, how you can set up a configuration for SQL link driver and how you can process or how you can read an, uh, data from an Excel file through Power Center using SQL link driver. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, please send your feedback uh, at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can tweet us at twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.